Hello, I'm Salvatore Bruno, PhD candidate in infrastructure and transport at Sapienza University of Rome, and I'm going to present my research project titled Urban Road Pavements Assessment Using Low Cost Monitoring Systems. My tutor is Professor Giuseppe Lograncive. Problem statement. What about the context of this research project? Scheduling the most suitable maintenance activities in time in order to ensure, first of all, the safety and comfort of road users requires continuous monitoring of the network. To date, however, a common practice for urban road network is so-called reactive maintenance which means actually intervening when the state of health of the pavement is already compromised. To overcome these critical issues, the latest research progress and prospect in the field of road distress detection exploit technology advances. The main proposals can be categorized as follows. Advanced image acquisition technology professional cameras, laser scanners. Several researchers have focused their interest on smartphone sensors. Data recorded by onboard sensor in modern vehicles is also an option. Or finally, the design and development of custom solution from scratch based on low cost sensor managed by microcontrollers, microcomputers. And this is the approach we follow. The main objective of this interdisciplinary research project is the design of innovative urban road monitoring systems in previous works, we have investigated the effectiveness of assessing geometric surface unevenness by measuring vibrations inside vehicles. In this regard, we adopted the frequency weighted vertical acceleration as key performance indicator and automated the calculation by writing a MATLAB code. However, we found that the identification of some road distress, in particular cracks traveling, is only reliable at a significant level of severity. This study aims to overcome the weakness of vibration-based systems and proposes a novel system that can integrate acceleration data with image data and noise levels measurements. We know from previous studies how to process data, but we need a system able to manage data from various sensors and then integrate and analyze the different data on the pavement condition of urban road networks. Well, the Raspberry Pi technology has become popular due to its affordability versatility and easy to operate, and we use it for our own purposes. In this slide, I briefly list some of the possible applications in road engineering that have been investigated by some researchers, and maybe they can inspire some colleagues for their own research. For example, traffic control system, road sign recognition system, detection of vehicle speed, structural strength evaluation of flexible pavements, and prediction of icing on the road surface. The proposed low cost and easy to operate monitoring systems involve the integration in different configuration of the following consumer grid components managed by a Raspberry Pi 4 model B. So uh, a camera module to uh, observe the distresses during condition service inspections, an inertial measurement unit, 
rotary encoder and magnetic all effect sensor module are alternative solution for obtaining the distance traveled. There is not the best solution, but it depends on the uh, test vehicle. Ultrasonic distance sensor module, different application, for example, uh, uh, calibration purposes or road profile measurement. Uh, then uh, we uh, integrate uh, sound level meter noise and a GPS module. The initial idea uh, of uh, directly uh, controlling all the sensor by the Raspberry Pi was not uh, feasible due to the uh, limited availability of analog inputs. Therefore, Connecting an Arduino directly to the Raspberry Pi is the easiest way. The Arduino collects the sensor data and then sends it to the Raspberry Pi. Data management play a pivotal role in this research project. Python scripts have been designed to acquire data from various sources while ensuring seamless alignment of timestamps, guaranteeing the temporal coherence of the collected information and data positioning. For each code, there is a link in the presentation to a video that demonstrates how the codes actually work. The data acquisition frequencies are shown in this slide and take account of the hardware limits. In the case of the camera, the acquisition interval between two consecutive photos has been set to 5 seconds after tests conducted at speed compatible with the urban context and which return clear images. Rotary encoder counts 1200 pulses in a full circle. With regard to the accuracy of the measurements returned by various sensors connected to the Raspberry Pi, have been validated with several preliminary tests conducted with the simultaneous height of precision instrumentation actually positioned in close proximity to the sensors. About data post-processing involves the use of MATLAB codes to calculate the frequency-weighted acceleration from acceleration data and the distance traveled. Calibration procedures have also been performed. The novel systems also involve cloud-based data backup and remote management to mitigate safety risks to personnel during field surveys. Python scripts have been implemented to collect data and time synchronize with millisecond resolution. So it is possible to match different data for further comparative analysis in order to assess pavement conditions. The novel monitoring systems have been mounted on two-wheel vehicles. This choice leads to new scenarios, such as the assessment of paved surfaces where there is currently no automated monitoring system for example, cycle lanes. The figure shows how the sensors were positioned according to road engineering purposes were to be pursued. In particular, in the final configuration, accelerometer is in the saddle because the K performance indicator refers to the set position. Eight equally spaced magnets discretize a complete turn of the wheel. In red, the alignment of the sensor on the vertical. A scooter has been instrumented too. This is an electric scooter. In this case, we use the rotary encoder to obtain the travel distance. It should be noted that some parameters, for example the comfort index, are influenced by the speed and the vehicle's physical and mechanical characteristics, so comparative analysis will be performed. A specific task of an ongoing European research project reveals the versatility and the multiple applications of the design and the Raspberry-based systems. 
a camera module has been connected to a Raspberry Pi board to capture and save digital images of portals from different point of view lined up along predefined circular paths. Considering the center of the portal as the center of a circle, the robot can follow a circular path all around the portal by defining the radius value as input. Several circles with a different radius in the range of 1, 1.4 meters around the portals need to take enough photos for a complete and detailed 3D portal reconstruction. The Output of photogrammetry processing software have been validated through laboratory tests set as RAN2. The trial has been conducted on a tile made of aspecture reproducing a real portal. In this case, the computation of portal fill material is the goal uh, once the mixture characteristics are uh, now. The proposed approach can be considered as a valuable tool for road agencies to assess pavement conditions in road networks and implement preventive maintenance strategies within budget constraints. Future works. Field test on a limited portion of the urban road network. Identification of threshold values with the reference to the uh, frequency weighted vertical acceleration, uh, definition of uh, degradation curves, and uh, finally, uh, implementation of uh, an intervention prioritization algorithm. Thank you for your attention.